Let's talk about blending now. We have blending modes and blending options. And these controls are available in effects filters as well as local adjustments. And you find them underneath the gear menu. The controls are in two sections. There's the blending mode, and then there are these blending options. Let's talk about the blending modes first. So what's a blending mode? Well, a blending mode changes how a filter or an adjustment interacts with what's below it. So if you're adding a new filter and you're changing the blending mode, you're telling on one photo, I want you to blend this, mix this with what I have beneath differently. And so the, an example, the lighten blending mode will look at what do you have as your, you know, your base photo and what are you adding and which pixels are lighter. I'm going to make sure that those are shown in the ending result. Darken is the opposite. What are the darker pixels? Let me make sure only those are shown from what I'm adding into my base photo. Let's look at a couple of examples of how blending modes can change what a normal filter would do to a photo. In this photo, I have a dynamic contrast filter added, and it's using a normal blending mode. Now, I have the same filter above it. It's just using a different mode. And let's see what the differences are. I'll turn off the bottom one and turn on this one. And this is much darker. We're getting a darker blend. Above that, I have yet another blending mode, screen. This one's much brighter. And on top of that, I have another one called luminosity. And this is close to what we saw originally. But then you know, the difference in luminosity, this is actually one that's quite good for light and shadow control, is it's not affecting the color tones at all. It's just affecting the luminance. So you can see that conceptually is what I want you to get here. The blending mode drastically in some cases changes how the filter interacts with your photo. All the filters had the same slider settings. The only thing we changed here in this little demo was what the blending mode was. And that will change that math that's happening, that interaction of the filter with the base photo. Now let's talk about the blending options. So what is this concept of blending options? The blending options control what tones in your image are affected by a filter or by an adjustment. Now the blending mode changed the interaction. The blending options control what gets affected. And so there are a couple of controls that we have. We have an apply to pull down to fine tune what range of tones are affected. And we also have protection sliders to prevent a filter or an adjustment from touching certain tonal ranges. We get into the technique videos. We're going to use these sliders and these options quite a bit to really fine tune and control the light and the shadow in our photos. So to summarize blending modes and blending options. Blending mode changes how a filter or an adjustment interacts with our photo. We can make things brighter, we can make things darker, we can make things more contrasty. And we'll talk about the mechanics of that in the tools videos. The blending options control what tones in the photo are ultimately affected. Only the shadows, only the highlights, something in between. Now you can use blending options and blending modes together or separately depending on what you need to do and what the look is that you're after for your photo. And if you're having an aha moment about the zone system video and how did the split tone only get applied to the low mid tones or only to the highlights, we're using the blending options to control that and tailor that filter to only target the areas of our photo that we want. These are incredibly powerful controls we have in on one photo to really craft and target our changes to our shadows, to our midtones, and to our highlights.